made my own wig. Who am I? Hey guys, so today I'm doing something um just a little different. Just a little bit. I have some hair extensions that I got from Hair Villa. Let's start from the top and just to see what it looks like all together, shall we? Ooh, uh, weaving caps. Wait, do I need these? Do people wear these? Wait, really? Do I? I'm sincerely winging this video today and let's try to figure it out together, shall we? Oh yes, oh that's what they look like. That's exactly what they look like online. How do I do this? I don't even know. It looks like we have three, um, three things of hair. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, what's this one say? Body, oh wait, does that look, okay. 100% human hair, Brazilian virgin hair, best or nothing. Ooh, yes hair villa. Yes hair villa, wow, they did that. And then we have this part, which looks like the top piece. I feel like we're just making our own wig. Oh my God, ooh, that could work out really well. Okay, let's hope I do this right. Oh my God. I don't want to say I don't know what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. This is a solid DIY wig. Look, you just... Do I need hair clips? Oh my god! Wait! So this is my... This comes in handy then, right? Do I put this on and then clip this onto it? Do I do that? I don't know what I do. If I went like this and then I just kept going around like that, you know? Then, then it would all be going in the wrong direction, right? My web search turned something up for am I supposed to cut hair bundles? Clip-in extensions, it's not these. Tape-in extensions, that's not these. Sewn in? Oh, we're not sewing this in. Mm-mm. And that's the end of the website. I didn't need any of this information. We are going to DIY this to the best of our abilities. And this is gonna take Lots of time and effort. A lot more than I thought I was gonna need for this video. So, I'm going to put this on my head, and then we're gonna start cutting and pinning the wig. No, nope. bundle of hair. Ooh, yes. This is gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. I'm gonna put that there, and then we're gonna put this over here. Ooh, yes. It's just, now I understand why they uh, glued them down. So now, let's do that again. Okay, we are getting things done here. So we have three rows going on right now. Looking pretty good so far. If I had more clips, then I would be like, clip, clip, and then leave the front open a little bit, but um, we don't have that many there, okay. You know, I feel like the top part truly does not matter because I do have a piece to go on top, so. Let's just make smaller circles, and then we'll be able to fill it up to the top. Okay, how much at the top is missing? Okay, a little bit. It's okay, how does the back look? Okay, that's not bad. Excuse my tummy. Still have a little bald spot going on, so let's fill that in. Let's hope that the top piece does wonders. So the top piece is basically, it looks like the inside of a wig, which I'm familiar with. Uh, it's basically like a lace front wig where this is the top part that you cut and then blend and then the baby hairs make it seem more realistic, you know? This is so full, look at this. Other than me butchering this look right now, like the hair itself is so nice. Like I, wow. Wow, I can't wait to try this again. So I'm just gonna cut this lace so it's not so square and then let's hope for the best. <laughs> We're going to put some bobby pins right through the top so that I can place it pretty well on my head. So, <laughs> could have gone a little better. I'm gonna stare at myself long and hard in the mirror and clean this up just a touch. Let's see if I can fix this a little bit. <laughs> Two hours later. And, with a little finessing, a little foundation, a little scissors, a little straightener. We have today's final product. Product? Product. Kind of. Clearly I did not do this the correct way, if at all. But, I was able to wing it pretty well and I made it work. Now I don't know how the back looks, I'm not even gonna show you, but we, we did that because Everything is just held together by clips. I just brought a lot of the hair forward so you can't see the clips on the side and things like that. But through layering and stuff, look at this. We made our own wig. I just made my own wig. Who am I? When you don't see the top or the back side, it's really not that bad. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. I tried. I tried. So realistically, to get hair bundles, like, you do not need hair for hair bundles. I totally messed up. Bundles are just making your own wig. That's all they are. That's all it is. It's far cheaper, and you can get the best quality and just make your own wig. If you guys are interested in buying your own hair bundles and, you know, making your own wig, making your own thing, make sure to click the links down below that will bring you directly to Hair Villa's website. So click the links down below, click the thumbs up, click subscribe, click like. I'm so thankful that I get to share my experiences with you guys. Thank you for watching me attempting hair bundles for the first time, and hopefully there will be a second time, because now I feel like I have to accomplish this. But for now, I'll just stick to being, you know, known as a hair disaster. <laughs> That's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!